All right, so we are uh, hopefully going to be able to see uh, one of the injectors basically stop functioning uh, when that control pressure, uh, when that when that p uh, piston plunger inside this fuel distributor uh, hits that mechanical region of the vertical slit for that injector that's clogged. And it seems to always be uh, kind of in that uh, extended range, the highest airflow range, which probably the engine or the fuel distributor, the fuel system probably never really sees. It's kind of like the wearing a ridge at the top of the uh, uh, engine cylinder where the piston ring just never quite a, kind of gets stretched to actually contact that area. So you wind up, uh, you know, developing a ridge where uh, uh, your normal travel basically stops. Uh, so let's take a look at the, these injectors when we're flowing here. And then it starts out good and you can see flow. Oh, you see that one shut off? Oh, it comes back. Oh. Basically what I'm doing is moving up and down the sensor plate and so we've got a dead zone for some injectors which will throw our flow test off quite a bit. You see it kind of come and go and let's see because it's kind of going across that, that, that stuck area. And now we see a huge, huge discrepancy, way, way bigger than the 10% that we want to see. Went a little bit too much there and spilled some fuel so I'm going to clean that up and we'll just keep running that cleaner through there and hopefully those slits will open up. Uh, if not, we'll be looking at some fuel distributor repair.